This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and today we're going to talk about a perimeter of a regular polygon. So I'm going to put a polygon up here so we have uh, something to talk about. All right, so here's our polygon, and uh, we are going to calculate the perimeter. Um, so there's a couple terms floating out here. Uh, first of all, you have to know what regular polygon means. A regular polygon is a polygon that has all its sides congruent, so it's equilateral, and we know that the internal angles are all congruent, so it's equiangular. Perimeter also means it is the length around the figure. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to try this and see if you could come up with the perimeter, and I'm uh, just going to give you a moment so you could pause the video, and then we'll return once you're done. Okay, now that you've tried this, uh, I'm going to show you how to go about finding the perimeter of this regular hexagon. All right, well, first of all, what I'd like to do is to divide this figure into pieces. So, like, for instance, if I divide this figure, and I'm going from the center all the way to a vertex. The center all the way to a vertex. Those are called the radii. Well, it's a little wavy, but let's pretend that they're all congruent, because they are. They would be, if it's regular. And what I like to do is to take one of these triangles and just reproduce it and put it right here. All right, in order to do this problem, what we need to do is figure out what is this angle here at the top. Once we get this angle at the top, we'll know more about this triangle, what type of triangle it is, and it'll help us find the length of one side, or this bottom distance. All right, well, to find this angle, which is called a central angle, called a central angle, uh, you first have to uh, imagine a circle here. And if a circle was at the center of this polygon, you would see that the uh, pieces uh, of the circle would be you know, actually divided into six parts. So all the six of those pieces would be congruent, and therefore, since we know that around a circle is 360 degrees, if I want to find one of those angles, one of these little angles here in the middle, it would be 360 divided by those six parts, which is, of course, 60 degrees. All right, so that means I know that one of those little angles, in other words, that central angle right there at the top, is a 60 degree angle. Okay, and we also know that these radii are congruent. So in other words, this radius is the same as this radius. And therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. So if it's an isosceles triangle, that means that if these are the legs, then opposite those legs, you would have congruent base angles. Okay, so that means these two base angles have to be congruent to each other. All right, well, if this is 60 degrees, right, we know that this top angle is 60, then these two, actually all three of these, are going to add up to be 180. But of course, these two are congruent to each other, so I'll call them x. So I know that, if I were to do a little calculation, I know that x plus x plus the top angle is 60 degrees, I know that because it's a triangle, all three of those angles have to add up to be 180 degrees. So I'm going to do a little math. I get 2x plus 60 equals 180. I subtract 60. I divide by 2. I get 60. So in other words, these base angles are 60 also. That means that all three of these angles are 60. That means it's an equiangular triangle all the angles are equal, that means it's also equilateral. All right, so if it's equilateral, that means that this distance here at the bottom also has to be 9. So that means that all of these distances going around, all the sides, are all 9. Okay, so what's the perimeter? Well, you can see that I'm going to add up all those 9s. Let's see, there's 6 of them. So I've got 6 9s instead of adding six nines, I'm going to multiply six times nine, and that's 54. 54 meters, and there you go. So if you said 54 meters is the perimeter, you are correct. 
that 54 is the perimeter of this regular hexagon. Okay, make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out all our interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and lessons. Take care.